Welcome back to Create Your Own Tits. Yes. No. Whatever. Okay, so this is a sort of online fatal bullet thing. We're creating our... We're not creating our own. We're just... Importing stuff. What you will need is a... Where is it? PSK Skeleton Mesh Importer. There is an add-on somewhere. Basically, all I do is this, and then set this to point one tab one, enter. That way, it's all nice. Import PSK. Then you go to wherever your sort of online stuff is located. In this case, it would be wherever you downloaded the entire thing, or if you ripped it, wherever you extracted it to. So, we are going to choose... 7 Mesh. Oh, it's Silica. I don't know, this is Elizabeth, never mind. Hide, right click, Shade Smooth. And now we are going to slide this open just click and drag or you can just right click and then vertical split and I'll just just right click right here vertical split boom drawn areas you just do that to just draw an area but I just like clicking and dragging Shoot your editor and move out of the way use nodes that way you can see the stuff now you will need to have delete that now you will you will need okay all right, all right. you will need my sword art on line shaders official release no tree then just select all of these you won't actually know you need it. all of these I will select all of them because it's just used to have all of them in there select all of them uh, yeah, yeah joy <coughs> let me check it doesn't have any of them let's just do that again because Winder is stupid. Scroll all the way down and find where if you downloaded the sort of online feedable node grip so version 1.0.0. No tree, select all of these, append, shift A group, or just click add group. And then this is the skin, so shift A skin. Of a drag, or or if you have the um, of whatever it's called, Node Wrangler add-on, you can just do a uh, click shift, control shift click, and it automatically connects. What are you doing? Connects to the output. Now the fun part comes in. Where are you over here? In that you will need because the skin actually comes from zero zero zero. See these? They only come right here. So what you'll need is the fuse and CV and CV. I don't remember which one's which. That said, this to channel packed. I'm on 3.3. .3. But if you're on an older version, it might not, may or may not do things. Show show that. Show um, show this alpha thing. So you just need to click in node properties and then just what. Okay. 
Anyway, it should say alpha right there. I should say it, but it doesn't for some reason. Now I just need to do this. Close this card. There you go. They'll both work. Okay. Actually, no, they won't. So that one has funny thigh things. Stop loading so weirdly. Anyway. There we go. Yeah, this is 001. That's just for an alternate coloring of it. There you go, skin colored, all nice. Now do the same thing with the body. Wait. File, wait, no, I don't need to file a pen anymore. Do body, control shift, control shift, click. If you have no wrangler, load up this, go find where you find the files. Since we chose the seven, Zero, zero, zero. Find textures. Drop all of these in there. Neon killer. Normal. See the detail being added in real time. Yeah. SRA. Neon color. SRA color and MSRA. Stop. Alpha. Do you do you blender please stop liking diffuse color value set this to channel packed put the C V in there and right here and then plug in the diffuse right here set the color to channel packed and there we go. So now that's part one done. We have the body all set up. Now we import PSK again, and then we choose a face. Let's choose 42. Now the face is similar, you just set everything up just how and just as it was show, shown, whatever. There notes, there's notes. Face, group, face. Grab the, grab the funny stuff, which was 42, texture. Right, that's because the face is always at zero 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 zero. So C V D and M Rees is unnecessary because I still have no idea what it does. Stop it. Get some help. So the specs solid so it doesn't keep on loading on me. So this is channel packed, channel packed, and channel packed, M, rigor, and M, stop it. All right, here we go. So face, and for the eyes. In reality, you can just choose whichever eyes you want. You don't have to use the eyes from the specific face, but it's nice to do it that's that way. So this is I L I R. 
uh, shift A group eyes. Oh my gosh, just stop being so slow. Do a quick little slash key. Right, the slash key right next to shift. Let me do diffuse D1, D2, and then D alpha. CV1, CV1, CV alpha 1, CV alpha 2. Set this to channel packed and this to channel packed. All right. Let me go to I. I just don't feel like I should really clean this up more, but I don't really care. All right, and then so this two channel packed. Ta face is complete. Eyebrows use nodes X tab. Same thing for eyebrows as well. You can just use whichever eyebrows you want. You don't have to use the ones from the from the same face since they're all just uniform. Let's turn the pack to set the blend mode to alpha clip or alpha blend. I prefer alpha hashed. That way it just has that little bit of extra blending. Yeah, you can see it, they're tiny eyebrows and I just choose 53. Just different eyebrows. Yeah, I like this one better, 04's eyebrows. They're looking nicer. Do that again. Click the slash button. Makes a shift to unisolate it. Then finally, let's get our hair. What hair are we filming today? I'm gonna say one ten. Now you must be wondering what these other for, others are for, and that's for like some if you have a hat accessory. So the hair doesn't just clip through the hat. Actually, let's not do one. So I just looked at I looked at the thing and just it's something I've done before. So let's do sixty one. Yeah, that's nicer. I should do a quick shade smooth. I just shade smooth and darn it anyway. All right. Let's do slash to isolate it. Use nodes, X on you, group, and then here. All right. This is what 61, so let's go back to here. And 61 is zero, zero. Texture. Drop in the CV, D, and N. This to channel packed, this to channel packed, and this to non color. Plug that in, see the detail up here. What are you doing, Blender? Plug you in, plug you in. See it be able to be colored. Plug you into the fuse. Just add even more detail to it. The. All right, now for the fun part about it. We fun. All right, now combine the models to get ready for the art chat.
Okay. Turn to use. Deselect all that. Let's move where the exact values the Y of the head. Y location is this. And the exact numerical value for the it's that. So the head pops up to here. Perfectly arranged. And then right click. No way I shouldn't do that with the I just realized I'm dumb dumb. Alright. Wait. No, I should do that. Just so I can right click and join. Now for the fun part, you can go over here to Outliner. Now we take apart, let's take apart more, just sort, choose head, face root, because that is what everything it just uses. And choose the new head, parent, make, keep offset, all right, delete this head, Bone, move over here. Click, click face root. Relations. All right, so you don't have to do anything here. But now, you click on these this face. Then we do the exact values again. I will put these exact values in the description just so that you don't have to type it out yourself. So that way they are, the head is right where it needs to be. Click the head, check that doesn't need the head change. No, it does not. All right, do this, actually no, click the head and then click over here or just click and shift click right click parent armature deform control tab and then the head moves smoothly all right next we just do the same thing basically the same thing with the hair This again, neck, head, face root. So the fun part about this is that we have to change a few things. Yeah, control click. Parent armature. Wait. Ah. I'm being big dum dum here. Uh. Make, keep offset, delete the base. That way, these bones will have the head as the parent still be up there. However, we will have to do something fun soon enough. There, hair 
is up there now. Let me just... Hold you real quick. Click parent armature deform. That way the... And notice the hair isn't moving along with the head like it should be. That is because we need to go in here and change this C base to head. Actually, no, wait, not C head. Needs to change. Yeah, no, yeah, it needs C head. Never mind. I'm just dumb, dumb. Control tab, and then now it will work perfectly. Now, if you don't want multiple meshes, you can just select all these. Control select with the body being the first right click and then joint or control J and there you go it's all one mesh now for getting it now for a fun part about unity is that this shoulder bone does not need to exist it it, it ruins some of the um, it ruins the uh, bone hierarchy in Unity. Just delete. And then you don't really have to do anything more. It's just, just. So yeah, that's about it. Mode. So now you can just shader editor. And just all the Funny things are in here now. You can just edit the colors just by clicking on here. So if I want to make this CV1 a different color, so I just want to make it a mm, yeah, that looks nice. I have no idea what color theory is. I'm just choosing the colors that look the best. A red trim, pink trim, maybe. Ooh. Oh yeah, that does look nice. And then, mm, I want silver actually. Could just keep it silver. Maybe darken it a bit. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, there's no mission on this. Not unless you want there to be. So I think I think this thing should glow, but I'm lazy enough that I don't want to make it glow. And then for the hair. That's a really nice brown, actually. Into it darker. Just makes it. Let's make it a bit red. Yeah, that does look nice. And for the screen, let's just. Say dark red, yeah, yeah. Let's hide this real quick. Face. This is makeup. So if I were to set this black, we'll just go black. You can just set it to the skin tone. So we just don't want it to show up. You can just set it to the skin tone. And just won't show up. Ta da! Let's set this to black. Let's do a different color. We could set it to the same color as the hair, actually. So, I mean, it's just control copy. Just control copy or copy the hex. I just, you can just control copy over that face and then control 
V right on top of it and just copy and paste the color. Let's make it a bit darker so it blends or it blends better. And then I don't think this this does anything. No, it doesn't. Yeah, these two don't do anything. So if I want some let's see that's my eyeshadow. That did look pretty nice. Yeah. Some lipstick. Yeah, some faint lipstick. Some blush. Not much, just faint enough that you can tell something's there. Mm. Yeah. And then, what was this one? Ah, uh, some deep, deeper blush. On the nose area. Still wanted some deeper blush, but also went into the nose. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna. If it did a funny there or anything, that would ruin not much actually, I think. Yeah, it wouldn't ruin much. Yep, so there we go. Let me just do that. Turn this to zero. Yep. And then for the eyes, you will have to, um, change his eyes separately so if you want hieromatic you can do that let's just mm. let's just do some funny looking eye shenanigans This is the eye outer, so you can change the um, outerness of the eye. I think there's actually a texture for that as well. So you can go to face, face zero, zero texture. I think this is, yeah. This is the eye outer, so you can just do that. Have it so that it has a little small gradients, or you just color it yourself, whatever color you want. I'm gonna put the gradient in there. Can I copy? Uh, I probably just copy the entire node. And just. They're both colored, colored the same. Eyebrows, let's just give the same. Control copy, control paste, control C, control V. Just darken it a bit as well. Yeah, there we go. Model is ready for Unity. So now let me just. No, we'll stop. Let me just quickly open up Unity so that we can send it over there. Alright, test, and we are back in Unity. Now I use the Creative Companion, that me, which means I already have all the VR. 
VRC, VR chats, SDK stuff already in there. You can VR chat is slowly migrating everything to there, so it's best if you just migrate over there really quickly. So now that we have model, we want to file export it. It's FBX selected objects. We don't want need it since this these are these two are the only objects in the scene. But I just, just in case. So we said JSV folder. That X. You can name it whatever you want. I just did that because it's what it is. So, done that. We are going to keep this over here. But I'm going to open up a new folder. It'll work. QRS. Avatar. SAOFB tut. Move you in here. Now we want to extract the materials to the same folder. You can put it, you can create a new folder and then just put it in there if you want, but I just prefer to put it in the same folder. And then it says humanoid apply. Configure, save, and just hold, I'm holding right click down. I'm just making sure that everything is working as intended. There is no, yep, you know, everything seems to be in order. That. We're not doing the shaders just yet. We're going to test, make sure everything is. You won't see this. Cringe. Don't do this to me. What do you mean, missing credentials? Try dev, switch over back to release, sign in. You're cringe. I hate it when it does that. Okay. Anyway, it's cringe and it's loser. Cringe loser. All right, we're gonna work on the shaders now. So now we just pull in all the stuff that we used, which means we get to look at the stuff in Blender again. Yay. I have for the memory. Eyebrows of four. Uh, yeah, I think that's the only thing I don't have is Nora. Don't have as default, so drag you in, loads in face, female, body, body of what? Oh, seven. Textures, drag those in. Body of seven skin is zero zero because there is no other skin. Yeah, so zero zero zero. In male hair, hair is 
is what? 61. Eyebrows is 04. Face. Face 04. Texture. Just take the eyebrows from there. Face. It's our actual face. It is face 42. I don't think we. No, we did grab it already. All right. I don't think we grabbed the eyes. That's 52 or 42. Yeah, so we wanted to take these three. All right, so now, what did I do on my silica? I think I just used Poyomis. Yeah, I just used Poyomis for that. So, what I did on my on another avatar is just I put Poi Omi's Toon Shader on it and then I just did some stuff basically. Let me just, just load this down again. So we did main. Main would be this main texture would be diffuse. Normal map would be this one now turn on RGBA color masking which is this so more predictive that way we, we can have the actual texture underneath so now we need to get the actual color values from here and here which was I'm going to put my Thing on it. Actually, no, I'm going to do it in this. So now we can either do one of one ways find the HSV values or we can just go copy the hex. I find control copying the hex to be much easier because we just paste it in there. And there we go. That's R of it, the G color, which is the second one. fun part comes with lightings and reflections and let me check what I did on here Is blanking. Oh, it's metallic gloss map. Okay. Fairly sure a newer version of something did stuff. Anyway, put it back onto this. Oop. Metallic glosses. Just making it all shiny. Shiny it is. R is metallic. G is reflectance. A is this inverse roughness. Melis specular roughness. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think it's specular. Actually, yeah. Talk, sp talk specular. 
reflect and specularness is, I'm fairly sure, it's roughly the same thing, works the same way. So. Let me just actually click this, turn this off, apply. That doesn't do anything. Okay. Yeah, we need to turn off the sRGB for that. That's just set to normal map. And then there we go. We have the body armor stuff. Was there really anything else on this? I don't think so. No. And for the skin. We just, you just do the same thing. I'm gonna find the skin. Let's switch it over to the Poyomi's tune. Main skin diffuse. And then normal map fixed now. RGB color masking, multiplicative. Turn that on. Plug this in. And for the R color, we just go back in here, skin. Also know that you can change the skin color to whatever you would like. It, it you can change it. It's, it's yours to do whatever you want with it. I just have it at that color because it's easier. Yep. Skin color. There's not much for the metallic stuff. So, don't need to turn that on. And so, you just, that's just basically it. You just apply it to all of these. I think the eyebrow actually, can you just, transparent. Yep. You toss that as transparent and just color it. Or you can just use Poyomi's tune and just use that, but you can probably just use the uh, standard shader. Let's just set up the hair. Let's just set up everything. Let's go on, what, 42 minutes? We ended like several minutes ago. It's fine. This is the hair. Fuse. Some people may need this much. They need just me just doing this, showing off how it all goes about. Just simply because they just need to see it. While well, others, we finished. Hold up. There we go. It's in the B color. All right. You must be alpha color then. Of course, this B color is blue. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Doing a thing. Copy that. Paste. I guess because you are the green. So we just need to copy you and then just paste it the G. There we go. I feel like it's showing stuff. I don't know why. Hmm. It just feels flat muted. Probably just because I don't have. I, I turned off scene lighting, but oh well. 
thin for the face. Standard Wyoming, Wyoming tune, Charmaine. The fun fact about the face is that it doesn't have a normal map, which is weird. But I think it just uses default normal map stuff, so. Uh, wait. I think this. No, wait. Yeah, it does do things. So the face is the uh, weirder, one of the weirder ones, actually. Let me see what I can, what I do on the other one, actually? I think I just, I don't think I used makeup at all on silica, actually, so. Anyway. Click the right one. I can't actually. Never mind. I figured it out. T he. There we go. Figured it out. Actually, before just be the same. C six A one. Oh, it is the same color. It's probably because it has shading on it. I don't know. so weird. Anyway. Me when I figure things out in the video. Not there. No, I don't. Hmm. Might just need like a uh, blank normal map. It just exists. It's just blue. Alternatively, we. we all Alternatively, we could just create one from um, whatever this is. If you load, yeah, just create one from this, but. Same color. Anyway, should we change? I don't think there is. I I think you'll have to have a normal map for it. Oh well. Boyomi, Boyomi Tung, man. RGB color masking. Their I. This is I R. Fuse and this is the color value. Okay, second. Well, I air myself back into reality. Whatever. Oh, 
Let's go. move this over here just so I can access the colors better. Oh, that's right. In it. What do we do? Do, do nothing. Nothing. So what we are going to do instead is th these round. And still fail to do anything of value. Okay, the eyes you'll just have to bake the color out. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest. I think that's what I yeah I did. That's what I did with this. I just baked the baked the eyes out, and to bake the, to and to bake stuff. Since we um actually yeah, what you do is do this on everything. Just make sure you select a duplicate a random texture node. Shift D, and then just make sure it's selected. That way, stuff does not break. Shaders don't break when you bake them out. So for IR base color, this is twenty eight twenty. 2048 by 1042, 1024. We want to create a R bake. 2048 by 1042. Yeah, 1024. 1040. No, 10. Yeah. You can see it. You, you can just don't. Yeah. Okay. I R bake. Do that. Change this to cycles. So we have everything channel packed. Change this to one. Bake. Mit. Five. Then we. Okay, is Hannah please moving? I know she was moving, but I don't really care. Give me the EP editor. Sure, this is selected. This is selected, and then bake. It should be fine, but enjoy. What happened? Okay, never mind. What we are going to do is a cool secondary thing called select everything and edit mode separate by material. That way, it shouldn't break. Big. There we go. That's better. Save as. Save this image. Then you go over here. Let's 
soon as I L bake. And then we just bake it. I'm dummy to There we go. I didn't do that for the other eye. Oops. Image save as IL big. Let's just do a quick thing on this. Bake this. Did I save this image? Yes, I did. All right. Let's bake it again. It's fine. I didn't mess anything up. You didn't see anything. You saw everything. Ooh. All right. Image. Save as. Save as. Don't care. So now we go over here, back to in here, add those in, select I, say L, I, R, turn off this, and then we have I, and I, L, turn off this. Oh, we have the left and right I think. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, because the face is so wonky and needs CV4. Whereas two and three don't do anything. Yeah. It's possible you just need to bake out the face. The ones with like multiple of these, like the makeup and the um, with makeup with like both has two color things. Like how this one has two and this one has one. There's like two of them. You just need to bake out. You just need to bake them out both out. Whereas hair only has one. Uh, skin only has one. Body only has one, and eyebrows only have one. You don't really need to do that. Whereas for the face and eyes, you might need to just bake them out. It just might be easier. So it so says you twenty four eight twenty four eight face bake. Probably shouldn't just mess around while it's baking, otherwise it will cause problems. Yay. Oh wow, that is a lot smoother. Sit as face bake. Mize grab it from here. Turn off RGB masking. Face big. CF, 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 CF. Wait. Oh, wait, no. Might as well just see. Let's see if the 
control panel let me sign in there yep okay every time I want to do this it says I need my frickin alright so auto fix auto fix auto fix Now, if you um, have full body or like uh, tracking tracking stuff, this might concern you. But since I am a desktop player, it does not concern me as much. Other people who know that stuff will know how to fix however this is. But as for me, I don't know how to. And so I don't really need to do that. So, protect. Join to this is closed. Open. Let me open up this part from the gizmos. Oop. If you want, you can do stuff with blend shapes in Blender. So as the eyes they're problematic we just ignore those and just build and test and you have your build and test or if I build and publish and you have your model in blender in night and blender in VR chat there you go yep that's pretty much it bye